Welcome to the Scientific Writing Assistant tutorial. In this first tutorial, we're going to see what to do to prepare the files before bringing them inside the tool. Some of the files won't create any problems for you. The usually your, your usual doc files, your uh, LaTeX file, no problem. Uh, however, some files, particularly those which are a docx file or files which include endnote notations uh, will create problems for you and you need to remove these notations. The best way I've found to do that is pretty much by opening a docx file or a document that includes these endnotes notation to open the document within OpenOffice, which is a free application, and so you would open uh, the uh, document or the dot, dot .x file in this case and uh, then you would immediately save it as and I've already done that as an ODT file now the as you when you save it as an ODT file it will automatically remove all of the extensions and uh, here it is the ODT file and you can then use this file uh, for the SWAN tool and it will work really well. Some other problems that you may face is, and this is the original PDF file with PDF documents. Um, PDF documents, when you open them uh, with the tool, they not don't always behave well. I mean, you can try it, but if you run into problems, uh, pretty much what I recommend you do is to open a Word file, empty word file, and you prepare it as a word document. Of course there are some applications which allow to do that, uh, but they're kind of expensive and they don't all work well, so doing it manually is also another solution here. Uh, so I'm taking in the title, I'm bringing in the abstract, um, and uh, you will notice something as soon as I bring in the abstract here is that uh, the lines break um, in the wrong place. I mean, you would want it to be a continuous uh, uh, string of lines, which I can do by uh, pretty much uh, uh, backspacing and introducing a space here to remove all of these carriage returns. But you can see that uh, that would take quite some time if you have a big paper and it's quite troublesome. So I've done it for the abstract because it's a short one, but I will show you a better way to do it uh, for the rest of the paper. Now, another type of problems you may face, and uh, you can see here, if I want to take the introduction, notice it finishes here, but I want to, it f uh, at the first column, but actually uh, to finish with the second column, it will automatically insert in the wrong place this particular uh, footnote here, which I don't want. Uh, I just want the introduction. So the way to do this is, well, there's not many ways to do this. You would do it uh, a little piece at a time. So copy and then paste it here and then go into the skip the notation, uh, start from the top of the other column and copy and paste it after it. And you still have the same problem of columns. Uh, let me tell you uh, how to solve this one. So first of all, we're going to select all of this, uh, cut it. And where are we going to paste this? Well, in an Excel document which I've prepared. Um, you have it on your DVD also. You would paste this into the first cell of your spreadsheet, which is in A1. So I'm going to paste it. And immediately you will see that uh, all of your lines uh, occupy uh, 42 lines in this case. But what is of interest is the last uh, line in the B column. And you will copy this one and bring it inside your introduction and paste it. Wow, isn't that wonderful? All the carriage returns have gone and now you have a nice clean text. 
uh, the way uh, Excel does it is simply by concatenating all of these sentences here and adding a little space in between. And so it's a very straightforward uh, little Excel program, but you don't have to write it. I've already done that. And it's PDF line dash return removal. And it is a template. Every time you open it, you'll have a brand new document. So I've done that and I've done that for the whole paper. I've not, I've excluded, of course, the visuals, which I don't need. And the, uh, but I left everything else inside the paper. And your Word document is here robustness evaluation, the doc file. So this is something you would do to prepare your document uh, before you bring it inside the tool. The next tutorial is going to be an explanation on how to use the tool.